Planet Earth, chirping birds, beautiful sunsets, and serene oceans. It's easy to think of our home planet as a peaceful blue oasis of life because it often feels like Earth is just a quiet rock that we're living on, when in reality, it's a living, breathing planet that is constantly shifting, splashing, and exploding, causing disruptions of global magnitude. Some of these disruptions left clues that scientists have been able to put together to deduce certain events that went down. This is a look at the most catastrophic events in Earth's history. Discovered by two geophysicists who were originally scouting for oil, the Chicxulub crater lies just off the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. The crater itself has been buried under land and sea for millions of years, hidden from plain sight. This ancient Earth scar is so massive that scientists think it's the result of an asteroid impact that was several miles wide. And the date of the impact just so happens to coincide exactly with the mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs. This kind of impact was completely devastating to all life on Earth. Huge amounts of superheated debris and dust would have been ejected into the atmosphere and then ignited as it rained back down on the planet, sparking fires and heating the entire planet. The shock waves from such a blast would have triggered massive global earthquakes and volcanoes. So much dust and debris would be left in the air that sunlight would be blocked out from Earth for many years, possibly causing a decade of long global winter. The extinction associated with the impact was so thorough and devastating that 75% of all plant and animal life is thought to have perished. The next catastrophe took place early in our planet's history, long before life had developed here. This hypothesized event took place just as the Earth was forming, and was so huge and devastating that it changed the Earth forever. In fact, we see the result of it every single night in the sky. During the early days of our solar system, Earth and all the other planets were in constant bombardment with collisions. And it was in this early phase that astrophysicists believe that Earth collided with another planet-type object. The hypothesized protoplanet is called Thea, and it was about the size of Mars. According to the giant impact hypothesis, Thea slammed into Earth causing an astronomical shakeup to our planet. The debris and leftover material from the collision that was left out in space eventually gathered together to form the moon. Earth-shattering impacts, asteroids and volcanoes are all very obvious threats to Earth and humanity alike, but sometimes the danger is hidden from plain sight. Oxygen is one of the most abundant elements on the planet, and that's a good thing considering most of life on Earth depends on it. But it wasn't always like that. Up until about two and a half billion years ago, almost all of life on Earth was made up of anaerobic species, or species that don't get their energy from oxygen. Which is appropriate because back then there was hardly any oxygen on Earth. That is until the Great Oxidation Event. Thanks to the phenomenon of photosynthesis, oxygen was suddenly and drastically entering the Earth's water and atmosphere at an incredible rate. This was horrible news for almost all of life that had evolved at that point, since oxygen is actually toxic to anaerobic life. This was a massive shift in the ecosystem of Earth. On one hand, it paved the way for complex life like humans to exist, but on the other hand, it was devastating to almost all other life on Earth. The beautiful Lake Toba resides in Sumatra and is the largest lake in Indonesia but despite what this large lake appears to be, it's actually the result of one of the largest known super eruptions on Earth in the last 25 million years. Approximately 74,000 years ago, an enormous volcanic eruption reshaped the entire geography of the area. So much magma was ejected that the chamber where it came from collapsed, causing a giant volcanic crater to form in what is now known as Lake Toba. It's the biggest known volcanic crater lake in the world. The eruption left so much ash and debris in the air 
that the entire planet was thrust into a volcanic winter for 6 to 10 years. Genetic evidence also suggests a population bottleneck due to the drastic change in global climate. The Mediterranean Sea is a beautiful paradise and has supported the rise of numerous civilizations throughout human history. But there was a time not that long ago, geologically speaking, that the Mediterranean was in a dire existential battle. A little under 6 million years ago, the Earth's tectonic plates shifted in such a way that the Strait of Gibraltar was actually closed. This cut off the Mediterranean's water supply. Without its connection to the Atlantic, in a short period of time, the Mediterranean almost completely evaporated. It was reduced to a salty basin with a few pockets of super salt concentrated pools. It wasn't until 300,000 years later that the Strait of Gibraltar reopened, causing a mega flood of water to rush into the basin. Scientists think that water blasted through at an incredible rate of over 7 billion cubic feet per second. That's a thousand times the discharge of the Amazon River. Thanks for watching Super Freaky Science and don't forget to subscribe.